welcome to my channel. My name is Megan. So this is my very first video on this channel. Um, this look that I'm wearing, however, is actually my second video. What you're about to see is the first thing I filmed, and I realized when I was filming this video that I'm currently filming, I, for this look, I forgot to do an intro. So this is my intro. The intros will be better, I promise. Um, and I, so you're gonna see a different setup and a different lighting situation, uh, and a very different look, but uh, I do hope you enjoy, and I'm excited for you to watch. All right, so today what I wanted to do was a um, something really colorful, like pinks and purples, but I also want to do like a yellow inner corner. Um, I've been seeing that people do that before. I just think that's really cool, so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, if you wanted to know it today, I am drinking a tea called it's, it's over there. I can't I can't remember what it is, but it's like berries and it's got a little bit of lemon in it. That's what I'm drinking today. Um, all right, so first I'm gonna put my hair up because Lord knows this needs to get out of my face. Um, so today I'm going in with, I'm gonna be doing the James Charles palette. I do have the mini one, but I got the mini one because they had a deal when it came out where you could also get the brush set. And I really wanted the brush set, but I was like, and eh, the palette's, you know, a fun um, addition to that. So, that's what I'm gonna use today. Let me find my brush. Where's my brush? In front of my face. I'm gonna go in with the Morphe Times or and Jeffree Star brush uh, JS7. It's just a it's a brow brush. And I'm going in with this. It's very, very old. Um it's a tiny bobby brown, like it's like six pan little boy, it's called party eye palette. I'm using the darkest shade here in the palette, which is called uh, Black Chocolate. Because it's it's dark, but it's pretty close. I've got really dark hair. So I'm just gonna, this is like a first time setup for me. It's gonna be interesting, because I only have my mirror on this side. So I'm just gonna go So that is the eyebrows done. Um, they're not perfect, but it's okay. Um, so now we're gonna actually go straight into the eyes. I like to do eyes first, and then the if I do a face, I face second, uh, just because I do kind of get messy with it, and I like to clean up afterwards. So I'm actually taking a shape tart shape tape um, in the shade fair. And I'm using that to prime my lids because I don't have really an eye primer that I find works as well as this does. Oh yeah, I'm just going in with my beauty sponge to tap that onto my lid. This is the Morphe, it's one of the Morphe sponges. They're really nice, I like them. And so I'm actually going to set my lids just because I personally like to set my lids. I'm taking the... Um, Beauty Bakery Flower in Oat, which is their translucent, translucent setting powder. This stuff is great. And this is just a um, BH Cosmetics um, brush. I got it in a pack, like a, I think it was called the Fairy Lights pack? Oh, I'm not sure. Now we're going in with the palette. So I am going to go in, I think, first with a little bit of pinkity drinkity, which is hard to tell, but it's a very pale pink color. My lighting's terrible, I know it is what it is. So I'm gonna go in with that on a fluffy brush that I'm gonna find. So I'm actually going in with my Morphe M330 brush. It's just like a fluffy brush. Um, and I'm just gonna take that shade, just go right in the crease a little bit just to have like a bit of a transition. I have very hooded lids. If I look straight ahead, you can see my lid space is very, very minimal. So I, whenever I say crease, I'm actually going slightly above, just to let you know. It's 
color really doesn't show up on my skin tone. I'm very, very fair. It's just like a, I just, I'm sort of using this as just like a wash of color. I don't, I'm not really using much of it. Um, I'm actually now going to go into the next color, which is called Skip. It's this bright pink color down in the corner. And that's what we're going to use next. And I'm going in with this little, it's a little, it's still fluffy, but it's a bit more of like a packer brush. It's from a brand called Chic Shadow. It, I think I got this at five below, um, but I, I actually quite like it. It's very fluffy. Ooh. Oh boy. So I'm, I'm just doing that in my outer corner and I'm stamping that into my crease. But again, I'm going above my crease. I'm just building that color up quite a bit. And I am, but I am going back into uh, Pinkity Drinkity, that really pale shade. And I'm just actually running that over the edges of Skip just to like make more of a blend because I don't want this harsh line. So I'm actually going to go into the next shade. It's going to be Love That, which is a little, it's like a deeper, it's almost purple. It's still kind of pink, but it's a little purpley. And I'm gonna use that to sort of deepen everything up. Cause right now it's only two, it's only really the one shade and it's a, looking a little flat. Um, so I'm gonna use that to uh, more brush I'm gonna use. We're going with the Morphe Jeffree Star JS9 brush. It's just like a pointed blender. It's a little more tapered at the front. It's still fluffy, but it's, it's a little more precise, which is what I want. Um, so I'm just dipping into that shade, tapping off the excess, and then I'm gonna go into my Focusing mainly on the outer corners, um, but a little into my crease as well. I just want to deepen everything up. Oh yes, that's exactly what I want. All right, I'm going back in with uh, Skip, just to like layer up and blend a little better, get the blend going. And actually with nothing else on my Morphe 330 brush, I'm just going to swirl and blend that all together. Alright, once you've gotten that to kind of a place of blending that you like, I'm almost there. I'm actually going to go in with one more color, which is single. This is the this shade right here. It's a little more purple than the pinks and whatever, but I'm going to use that to really, really, really deepen the outer corner. And I'm gonna take the same brush, uh, the JS9. I'm just rubbing on a towel, like a little hand towel that I have. I'm rubbing off the excess of, um, love that just a little bit, just so I can get a little bit more of a pure color. And I'm taking this really just on the tip of the brush and I'm putting that only in the outer corner. So I'm really, really deep hitting that, putting it on the lid, like just right, right over here. I might even dump, jump into Escape, which is this color here, which is purple. It looks a little gray on camera because my lighting's bad. Um, but it, I might even jump into a little bit of that to get a little more depth. I really like my inner corners to be nice and deep, just a little bit. Okay, so when you have the blend kind of to where you want it, um, I'm going to go in with a shimmer. I didn't like any of the shimmers in the James Charles mini palette that I wanted to use, so I'm actually going into another palette. So I'm actually going into the Alyssa Edwards palette uh, with ABH, and I'm actually going to go into this color Beyond. It is like a, like a fuchsia pink. But um, I'm going to go onto my lid with a little bit of glitter glue. I find that, for me at least, with shimmers, if I want something subtle, I use my finger and with nothing on it and go from there. I still haven't figured out how to use a shimmer with a brush. I just don't. But what I have found works is actually going in with a glitter glue. I'm using the 
no. I'm using the NYX Glitter Primer. Um, if I put a glitter glue down, let it dry a little bit, get tacky, and throw the shimmer on it, it pops a little bit more, at least for me. So I'm actually going to go, I'm going to put my little NYX Glitter Glue right on the back of my hand. And you can use a brush for this. I've I'm going to. I've also used my finger. That works too. And I'm just going to take a little bit on the brush and I'm going to tap it where I want it. Again, I am going to go a little bit above my natural crease just because I want this to really, the shimmer to come out. So I'm just doing this for the inner, like, third, I guess, of the lid. Just where, like, there's no shadow. I focused mostly with these shadows, I focus mostly on crease and outer corner. So um, I'm using the shimmer to do all the, to take up the blank real estate, free real estate. Um, let that go down. And then I'm just gonna go in with my finger into the shade beyond and pack it right on. I'm actually gonna go though back into just while I'm here, the James Charles pack. I just wiped my finger off on the towel. This color you have to be careful of. It does stain. Um, I do want a little bit of a lighter shimmer, just in the very, very inner part. So I'm actually gonna go in with I'm gonna go in with Shishter. Sister, which is this color right here. It's just like a pretty, it looks a little more pinky. It's a little, it's like silvery and pinky and beautiful. So I'm just gonna take a little of that and just pop it just in the inner inner corner area just to add a little bit of and then I'm just actually gonna go back to my M330 blend. So I'm happy with that where that is right now. I am actually gonna now move on and do my under eyes but before I go in with like my full under eyes I actually have to clean this up a little bit. So I'm gonna take a makeup wipe. This is just like a Skin Lab Revitalized Hydrate Cleansing Facial Towelette. It's supposed to remove makeup and all that. I actually find for me, it doesn't remove my makeup very well um, when I like use it as a wipe, but it's great for like doing cleanup. Uh, so that's what I'm actually gonna do real fast. So what I'm gonna do now, um, before I like go in with everything, so I'm actually gonna take my NYX um, Professional Makeup Dark Circle Concealer in the color Fair. I'm just gonna use it on a little flat brush here. Normally I would go in with concealer, blend out, do the rest of my face with just a powder and go. But I wanna actually use foundation today. So I'm gonna take my this is Tarte Found Cellar Foundation. It looks like this. It's got um, SPF in it, which is why I wanted it. And it's not supposed to be like super, super full coverage. I believe it's like a little more of a medium coverage, maybe light. Um, this is in the, fa the shade Porcelain Beige. So I'm just pumping like two pumps on my hand. So then I'm gonna actually just use, use my finger and dot this around my face. I find this for me works the best because my beauty blender kind of sucks product up a little too much for me. And you know, I paid good money for this, but I don't want to waste it. So now I'm gonna go back in with that beauty blender and I'm gonna start to, I'm just gonna start blending a little bit not a lot because I am going to go in with my concealer so I'm going to do even more blending in a minute but I just want to make sure I get this spread all over my face going all the way to like you know the corners of my hairline that's looking pretty blended so now I'm going to go in with that same concealer that I primed my eyes with, and that's actually my face concealer as well. Again, this is just Tarte Shape Tape in Fair. And I'm just going to swipe a little under my eyes. I'm going to let it sit for a second because um, 
Jackie Ina does this and she says this is how you get more coverage out of it and I that's like something I struggle with so I'm gonna try that oh my god I have to itch my nose all right so now that I've actually let it sit for a second sort of fix my hair a little I'm now gonna go in I'm gonna do my own dry eyes last so I'm gonna do the rest of my face and then go from there Actually really worked. Jackie Aina. That looks blended. Cool. So I'm actually now gonna set what we just did with my going back in with my beauty bakery oat translucent powder. Okay, so I'm actually gonna go in and use my BH Cosmetics number five brush again and I'm gonna set my under eyes first very lightly and just with that. It's like the perfect shape to like hit that with. I'm actually going to go in with a fluffier brush and set the rest of my face. So this is another BH Cosmetics from the same thing that I got my face setting brush. This is just the number one one. It's just very, it's very, very fluffy and light, which I like. I'm just going to use this to like dust on this setting powder. Just a little. So before I bronze, highlight, blush, and all that, I'm actually going to finish up doing the under eyes and um, do my fun inner corner thing that I want to do. So I'm actually going to take a small, actually really small, tiny brush. This is another JSC. Sorry, Jeffree Star Morphe. This is JS13. It's very, very small. It's very, very detailed. I'm actually going to go straight in with Skip, um, which is that really bright pink color from the James Charles palette, just because I want to get really close to my lash line. I don't like to blow out too far because it looks like then I have bags again, which we just did so much work to eliminate. I don't want to do too much. So just going quite tight to my lash line. And I make sure to connect to this, to, to this up here. I'm going to take a Morphe M506 brush and I'm going to go in pinkity drinkity and I'm going to use that to blow this out and not make it so nice, so harsh. So going in with a really, really small pencil brush. This is another Morphe brush. I believe I got this with the James Charles brush set. But it's a tiny, tiny pencil brush. I'm going to go and mix these two shades. These two. And I'm going to go like that as close as I can to my lower lash line. I'm just using this on the inner third of my eye and I'm connecting it just out here to my outer corner as well. It's really light. And then I'm just gonna go back in with my little M506 with nothing else on it. Blend that out. We're looking very pink. So now I wanna go in with like a pop of color um, on the inner corner, which is that yellow shade. So that's what we're gonna do now. So I'm gonna take a real techniques brush. This is the RT306 Insta Pop Crease Brush. It's got like a fun little weird shape. To it, but we're gonna use that to apply the yellow, which is the shade B, um, which is right here. It's very, it's the, it's the brightest yellow. It's a nice bright yellow. So I'm just taking it on a brush, tapping a little bit off, and then I'm packing it right in the crease. And you, I'm gonna fade it up with the pink on the upper and lower lash line. It'll create a little bit of an orange effect, but it. That's how it blends, which is nice. And this I'm taking out pretty far. I'm not really using swirling motions. I'm more packing than anything. Because with yellows, you want to like really pack them on. They don't like do well when they 
are swiped, I find. These are much better if you pack and then you blend up the ed like blend out the edges. Three. I'm actually gonna go in also with the backing with the Alyssa Edwards. This one also has a yellow shade called Brick Road. I'm gonna try and use that. I think it's a slightly, might be slightly different shade. I'm gonna try and use that a little bit as well. So um, before I move on to the rest of my face, I'm actually gonna quickly, and like my inner, my um, waterline, which I, I wanna show, um, I'm actually gonna go off camera and do a line of black on my upper lash line. I'll tell you, I'm going in with the NYX. That's the point. Uh, eye liquid eyeliner and it's in the hella fine application so as you can see this is like a tiny tiny felt tip and I love it I'm gonna quickly go do that and I will be right back to finish off my face I am back with the black line all right I'm actually also gonna tight line real fast um, with the ColourPop BFF Creme Gel Liner in Swerve it's just the black one I love these liners so 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 much they are fantastic. They're just like so creamy. Lovely. They just glide right on. I'm going to take another ColourPop liner. This is in uh, CRSSD. It is a bright, bright yellow. I wanted to keep the yellow going, and I'm going to use this to go on my waterline. So just bear with me. That is exactly what I wanted. Just kind of brightens everything up. So now I'm gonna move on to the rest of my face. For bronzer slash contour today, I'm using the Maybelline City Bronzer um, in I guess 100. So I'm gonna take this, I'm just taking another BH cosmetics from that one collection I got. I think it's very light collection. But number three, it's a little more tapered. It's still very fluffy, which I like. I'm just taking that, tapping off the excess. I'm gonna go in. So something that I I actually learned from Raw Beauty Christy is if you take your bronzer and put it a little here on the bridge of your nose, it actually helps it make a lot more look more natural. Because if you think the sun actually hits you here still, so putting some bronzer, just a little like dusting right there, actually helps like tie everything in together, which is something I learned from her and just like changed my game. So now I'm actually gonna go in with blush. I'm using a butter blush um, from Physicians Formula. This is in Saucy Maw. So I'm just gonna go in with my, let me grab it, my e.l.f. blush brush. Just take a little bit of that. Pop that on. I actually am gonna take a little blush right on my nose. I love that look. I don't know why. It's just something so cute about it. So now I'm going to go in with the highlight. I'm going to go in with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Ice Cold Highlight. So I'm going to take this on my Morphe M532 brush. Tap a little excess off and just hit. So I take whatever's extra and just like fluff that onto my forehead then I'm actually not going to do my inner corner today funnily enough because I have something else planned for that but I do also I'm going to just take this and hit my brow right at the arch of my brow bone and I'm just using this little like essence of beauty I don't even know where I got this it's a tiny little brush I use this I would use this for my inner corner as well All right, before I move on, I'm actually gonna hit my face uh, a little bit with a bit of a setting spray. This is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. It's the only setting spray I use. I like it the most. I'm just gonna set that before I move on to like melt everything together. All right, I'm actually gonna go back up to the face. Um, so because I forgot to do this, I'm using my NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. This 
is uh, awesome. I love this stuff. It's great even for like no makeup days. Sometimes I'll just run this through my brows. It just, I like, I know most people like smaller wands. I actually really like the bigger wand and because it's clear, like it doesn't make any transfer and I'm just gonna hit my brows real fast. Just to give them a little some fluff. And so now I'm actually gonna work on my doing something a little special with my uh, inner corners. So I this is something I always do, which I actually learned from Corselin. She does this thing with, I believe, the Stila shadows. I'm using the Urban Decay Heavy Metal um, in Pyro. And she basically just hits like the low, like just a little bit in the inner, like on the lower lash line. And it's so pretty and I started doing it and I love it. And people have been complimenting on me on that. So thank you for that. And like not too much, just see, just a tiny, tiny bit. Look, look how more awake that eye looks rather than here. It's so pretty. And to add a little bit of fun before I go in with my lips and my mascara, I'm actually gonna take ColourPop. Uh, this is from the Frozen 2 collection. I bought like that little Elsa. I bought the Elsa one. It's this little glitter. It's glitterly obsessed glitter gel. It's really pretty. It's called the Dark Sea, but it's just this beautiful, icy glitter moment. And I really like it. And it, it's cool because you don't need a glitter, glitter glue. It kind of already is one since it's a gel. And I'm just taking this little, another like chic brush five below. It was in this little kit. I'm just taking that and I'm taking a little bit of it, just like a tiny, tiny little bit and I'm gonna pop that in my inner corners today. I just am feeling the glitter moment. You can absolutely skip this step. Just use like your regular inner corner highlight. I just was feeling extra. Ooh. Yeah, I love that. So please check this out. I'm actually gonna do mascara off camera as well, just because it's boring. And I, I, it's not important. I will tell you what I'm gonna use though. So I'm gonna curl my lash my lashes obviously. Lash curler, I don't know where I got it. But I'm gonna go in for at least my top lashes. I'm gonna go in with Essence Lash Princess. I just got this. And this, this is the false lash effect one. And then on my lower lashes, I'm gonna go in with this little tart big ego, like mini I got. So I'm gonna go do that quickly off camera and I will be right back. Hi, I'm back and I uh, finished my lashes. So I'm actually gonna go now in with the last thing before another like hit with some setting spray is lips. And today I'm going in with Cherry Wet, which is a pink, it's a red, but it's like pinky, um, which I thought would go well with this. All right, there is the finished look. Let me take my hair down. All right, and this is the final look. Thank you uh, for uh, watching this video. It's a first for me, so I'm excited to uh, see where this goes and see if um, I want to keep doing this. If you want to hopefully see more, please subscribe. And um, here we go now. Bye, thank you.